What is going on everybody? Welcome back. 10B edits. Today, John and I, John, he's doing some fishing, are still up here in northern Wisconsin doing some camping. And it's a little bit in the afternoon right now. I think it's probably around one or two. And the reason today's video is getting started so late is, well, let me just walk up here towards the boat here and I'll explain a little bit. So, I've been fishing the last, I don't know, four days in a row here and everything on my boat has been perfectly fine now I did go Monday today is Wednesday yesterday when John and I were filming um, we didn't have a trolling motor that worked and that was because I figured I didn't charge my batteries long enough figured my batteries just weren't working so my trolling motor wasn't working so get done fishing plug it in and wake up this morning and it says it's charged we go to the lake we try filming a crappie video and the trolling motor's dead. So that's kind of a botch considering we're gonna be up here for a couple more days. So we had to look into it and turns out the batteries that I just purchased about two months ago are already dead. So you can see, got those chilling right here. We went to a local bait shop that actually specializes in Minn Kota stuff and they were so kind enough to help us out and uh, get the problem solved. So we ended up buying two new batteries, got it into the boat. Now we're just sitting here at camp. We we're waiting for them to fully charge. And the plan of attack for the rest of the video is we're gonna go walleye fishing just because the bite has been really, really good. Now the evening bite especially has been really good. Yesterday we cut off the video a little early. Um, tonight we're gonna try doing the same exact thing, but I'm gonna try filming the whole thing. Just gonna sit here. Watch John suck at bobber fishing, trying to catch these bluegills. What do you mean? I'm about to clap one, boy. Ah, oh, they're so camera shy, Nick. Well, there are a ton of bluegills right down here. Obviously our campsite is right here and we got this beautiful looking lake. Like I said in the last video, I have never been to this lake, never camped on this lake, but it's a nice little lake. It's got bluegills and uh, bass is what we all know john caught a small mouth this morning off the dock so that was pretty lit so apparently panfish are the hardest species to target but that is okay we're going to be going for a much easier species called walleye so we are going to go ahead start to get everything loaded up get the boat packed up and we are going to head on out so next time i see you guys we'll be on the water Alright, so John and I have made it out on the water and it is another gorgeous day. A uh, little bit more wind than the other day, which actually really isn't that much of a problem because the trolling motor is working. I I don't even believe it. Can you oh believe it? Oh my gosh, are we even in your boat, bro? Whenever John and I fish together, there is always some sort of problem and Frequently, the problem has been something to do with the trolling motor, so I'm glad that's working. Uh, so the wind is actually good, a little bit of chop. This water is super clear, so anything to disguise our baits a little bit better, it's gonna be better for us. Now, what we're gonna be doing is strictly throwing two different styles of baits. We are gonna be throwing one, plastic. plastic. And then the other one, do you, do you have one on hand? Yeah, I do. Probably this guy, one of these. Any jerk baits. That is what we are gonna be throwing. That's what worked for us the other day. These fish are super aggressive. Water is close to 50 pretty much anywhere on the lake. So these fish, most likely, you're gonna get them all post-spawn and when they're post-spawn, they absolutely crush pretty much anything you drag in front of them. So what we're gonna be fishing, same thing. Uh, but if you guys haven't seen any other videos, we are going to be fishing steep breaks and anything that we can find with rocks. So right now we are super close to the shore, 18 feet of water. We got the side scan going, nothing so far, but that's just because we we're getting ready. 
Uh, we're gonna drift down the shoreline here, see if we can pick one off. We're trying a few different spots. Um, just during the day, we got some time to kill, so that's what we're gonna do. But evening, I know, is gonna be really, really good. But we're gonna see if we can pick a few off. So, got the GoPro on, I'm gonna switch to that, and hopefully get hooked up soon. Gonna be taking our first cast here of the night. John caught one on his first cast yesterday, so we shall see if that'll happen to me. Feeling some rocks. Now, before... Okay, that actually got me excited. First cast, first snag. Let's go, John. Oh my god, hold on. I have a trolling motor. Let me just troll on over there quick. No shot you catch one first cast and I don't. I am pissed. Well, John's hooked up. Look at that. Is it a walleye? Looks like a walleye. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. So they shall eat that little saucy swimmer, boys. Wow. I mean, we're catching hogs today, Nick. All right, well, John did just like he did yesterday and caught one on the first cast. So to show you guys a little bit more in depth on the gear and everything that I'm using so you guys can take this to any body of the water that you like to fish and catch some walleyes. So this is clear like I was saying and uh, it's got a lot of deep water in it. Now we're going to be using a quarter ounce jig here, black, and then we just got a paddle tail swim bait. That is pretty much what we're going to be using that and we're just slowly retrieving it, casting it, just slow rowing it back. Uh, line. I have eight pound fluorocarbon leader, about six foot leader to a 10 pound braid as for the whole backing of the reel. Rod and reel, now this is something that is new for this year. Uh, not the reel, but the rod itself. I'm strictly running PC Fun reels this year. This is actually the PC Fun Serpent. This is a 610 medium and I have been using this all spring. And this rod, it holds up. Now I'm used to a little bit heavier of a rod just because that's kind of all I've owned for my whole life. Now this thing is super light. So if you like light sensitive rods for like cheap price, this is definitely going to be what you want. And then what I got it paired with is the PC Fun Honor X, uh, the 3000 series. Now you see me use the Carbon X quite a bit, but decided to try this. This is a little bit lower end of a reel. So like the price for this is pretty dang cheap i think you can get this reel for like 50 dollars could be wrong but it's very very inexpensive and it definitely holds up i've caught a lot of fish on this thing super smooth drag so if you guys want to check anything out from pc fun i will leave it down in the description and if you use code nb edits 18 at the checkout you guys can save 18 percent off on all of the stuff that you want to get at the pc fun website so make sure, go check it out. Now that John has already caught a fish on his first cast, I'm gonna attempt to catch one myself. I figured we probably should catch more walleyes on this side, but it does look a little bit weedy. But we're just gonna keep on vertical casting this. Drifting down, see if we can make some magic happen. All right, you guys, so it has been a little while since I've turned on this GoPro. That is because I, I'm struggling. John has caught two walleyes and a pike, and I am currently fishless. Uh, it is getting towards evening. It's about 6.30 right now, so the bite's probably not gonna pick up for another hour or so yet. But we are hitting our favorite little bank here and gonna be switching over to the jerk bait. Probably gonna be throwing this the rest of the evening uh, because that is what worked the other night. So gonna be tossing around the hit stick here into the shallows and just trying our luck. Oh yeah. That's a fish. Oh. Nice. Need First that. fish. Ooh. And it's the targeted species. Oh, oh, oh. Oh God. All right, well. Small little male start the day for me i finally got one got it on the jerk bait 
I did already lose one, so I switched over to a husky jerk. That one crushed it. John and I were literally just talking mid-sentence about how maybe the bite is non-existent mm -hmm. and that fish hit. So I guess that's usually what happens when you talk crap about the lake or the fish. It's usually Three. when they bite. Oh, he just got hit again. Oh my God. Probably might try. There's yep. one. There we go. John and I just started to mark an absolute ton of fish. He's caught like six in a row. Yes, sir. Just a small little guy, but it's getting to be that time of the night. Oh, there's so many on the side stand, mate. Little guy. I got you. They're out there still. <laughs> I just got crushed way out there for a second. Alright, this is going to take 10 years to reel in. Cast pretty far, or what? Yeah. I sent her a little bit. Oh, they're in there though, too, John. Oh! oh. Just lost him. Uh oh. Uh oh, are they shallow now, brother? That's two. Yep, they are. Yep. Well, I just missed one. John caught one. Next cast, caught another one. Let's go to the back of the boat here. Not very big, but he cranked it. Get a bump. Calmer. Hey. Oh, God. All right, nothing. Well, this is a spawned out female, actually. I was going to say nothing but males so far for me today. But that's only my third fish. Should be about that time where uh, we start to catch them hand over fist. Okay. Wait, is that a pike? Smalley. No. Oh, that was the spot, though. The Smalley spot. What was that, like 24 inch or? Oh. Smallies do love that point. Yeah, there's we caught a couple. No, that's a, that's a pipe. Really? Wait. 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 Woo! I just had one. What is that? Oh, it's Smalley. Yeah, it's Smalley. <laughs> It just looks so weird, dude. A little bit too big to both flip, but we shall. Jeez, that's kind of a nice one. Yeah, that's kind of a nice one. John just caught a smallie, and I was not paying attention and had a walleye boat side. So we love that. Well, you guys, as you can tell, it is very, very dark out here, and the wind has just started to pick up. We are supposed to get some storms tonight. Um, hopefully they're not super severe because we are tent camping. But uh, today, man, today just was not my day. I just could not catch that many fish. I did catch a few. John really did good. Like, he actually caught quite a few fish. Nothing huge, but um, just nice quality walleye, some smallmouth. But, you know, we just wanted to come out here, catch some fish, and we did that. So now we're going to uh, start getting off the lake here. 
plan of attack now for the rest of the night is go back, uh, plug in the boat, and we are going to absolutely destroy some food. I'm not sure exactly what's on the menu tonight, but I will show you guys once we get back. So, I will see you guys when we get there. We have made it back to camp, and right away we have John. What up, on boys? On grill duty. Dude. Seems like it's a normal thing around here that you're on cooking duty. I've been going off, Nick. All right, check it out. Tonight, we have, uh, these are wild rice goose brats. They're really good. Nick's actually had them for. And then, on the uh, part two of what ramen is Nick and Dr John trying, we got shrimp ramen. Never had it. Never had it either, so we're going to see how that goes. But that's on the menu for tonight, man. Bun's a little small compared to the meat, but hey. hey. That's all right. I'm used to my meat being pretty big. Now, if I walk over here, you guys can probably tell this looks a little bit different than other truck tents that I have had in the back of my truck. Now you can see, obviously, this is my Ford F-150 and I know it's dark, so I'm gonna try to film this the best I can. But take a look at this thing, guys. This is my new truck tent that I'm gonna be rocking this year you guys have probably seen the green one but uh decided to try something new so this one you can tell it's got this nice like awning these poles are adjustable i can have it to whatever i want that's super nice you know you can put a mat there obviously i have the boat here uh normally that would be unhitched but if i look on the inside here this thing is huge now it's hard to probably see how big it truly is but once i put like a cot and all that I mean, this thing is spacious. Plus, I really enjoy it. It's got this big window back here that you can actually unzip so you can get air. And obviously it's got the two windows on the side. This thing is super nice. And uh, this will be my first night camping in it. So the tent that this is set up right now is the Granville 2 truck tent by a company called Off-Roading Gear. So if you guys are new in the market for a truck tent, or maybe you just never have truck camp before and you want to get into it, one, it's amazing because you're not sleeping on the ground. Um, you can put it up in the bed of your truck, drive pretty much wherever the heck you want, wherever your truck will take you, set up a tent and just start camping. But if you guys are interested in finding yourself a truck tent, I will leave this exact one down in the description. So make sure to go check it out. It looks like John, is serving up our plates right now so i'm gonna go over here sit down eat our dinner at 11 o'clock at night and uh, i'm gonna finish setting up my truck tent i'll show you guys before i go to bed what the inside looks like with all the stuff inside and how i'll have it rigged up for the night and uh, yeah i'm gonna eat these wieners hey ketchup comes out a little fast if you're curious <laughs> oh god that's yours yeah. right yep that is a botch all right, we're gonna eat these wieners and enjoy the rest of our night. Oh, wow. We got a five-star meal going on here. We got the ramen, the shrimp flavored. Curious to see if it's gonna taste anything like shrimp. Which it does not. It tastes like chicken, don't it? I think what we're gonna find, well, I don't know. The soy one might taste a little different because we got soy and we have what's the other one chili well that one might taste a little different but so far all the ramen that we've tasted tastes like chicken i'm a little scared for the chili one i feel like that's gonna be hot think so yeah and then on the main plate we got the goose brats i have had these before when we went to fort peck john was so kind enough to bring these along but these things are some heifers. And this is what, wild rice in here? Yeah, it's really good. They got a little cold after a sip for a little bit. But. Oh God, the ketchup comes out extremely fast. Mm -hmm. It's all right, we're gonna give it a first bite. It's not bad. Tastes like a wiener. Tastes like any other brat. I don't eat goose a lot because I don't do any hunting for anything that flies, but uh, I'd rate it like a solid 8 out of 10. I mean, it really just tastes 
like a brat. Mm -hmm. Well, we are gonna go ahead. We are gonna finish eating our fine meal here and uh, go set up the truck tent. Go climb up into here quick. Oh, you can see that I got this thing fully set up now. Oh, we we'll just get up on in here. Oh. So, as you can tell, plenty of room. I mean, I could not quite stand in this thing, but I mean, it's 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 pretty high. Definitely taller than my last one. And then, uh, as you can tell, you know, if I had somebody else in here, it'd easily fit us. But I got all my clothes, my camera gear, and then I got myself this cot. So that's pretty much the setup. Um, I mean, maybe along the way, if we keep on camping this year, I'll have this thing laid out and set up a little bit different, but this is it. I really enjoy it. I mean, it's pretty simple, but this is definitely better than sleeping on the ground. So I think we're gonna go to bed. It's been a long day. It is 11.15 at night, and we have been up since early this a.m. grinding, going hard. So. This is probably going to be the last time you guys see me tonight. I'm going to go ahead, get tucked in, and uh, call her a day. So, I will see you guys in the morning. It's a hodag! Well, good morning, everybody. It is, time check, 7.50 in the morning. And, uh... Felt pretty good. The last couple nights, I was sleeping in John's CVT tent, and uh, last night you guys saw me unbox and set up my truck tent, and yeah, this thing handled it. It was nice. I mean, plenty of room in this. I'm fully stretched out, and I got all my room. I got all my stuff there, but. It was a great night. It is next morning, I think. Uh, looks pretty nice outside, so probably gonna end up getting up here. Today is gonna be our last day up here, so I'm gonna have to end up taking down the truck tent, packing up all of our gear. I do believe we are going fishing today, but um, yeah, we'll see. The weather has been interesting. We've had some on and off rain. Hopefully that doesn't happen today. But like I said, I'm going to get up, start my day. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys want to see more truck camping videos. If you are new to the channel and haven't seen any of our videos, uh, this is the type of video that we film quite a bit on our channel. So if you guys like it, leave a comment down below. That is all I have. So I will catch you guys on the next one. Tight lines from NB Edits. Thank you.